good day, good evening, depending on where you may be. I'm here in this moment, in this video moment, to go through and describe my theory about how I think surfboards work. You've got some pretty crappy modeling here of a kind of a standard looking sort of surfboard. It's uh, pretty normal looking, but I decided to make a design which you can probably uh, relate to in the respect that it's probably a board that turns quite easily. So the first thing I want to do here is show you how the board might be sitting in the water. We just started to initiate a turn here and we've got a little bit of heel on, we've got a bit of a lean, we've initiated the turn. And what I want to show you is that the intersection of the surface of the border and the board. I know there's a lot of flaws in what I'm showing you in the respect that I'm not showing you deflection of the border. It's um, the cross sections that I'm showing are not on curved water. There's obviously deflection of the water, but I'm going to describe to you a theory about how a surfboard turns. So what I've done here is I've taken a little bit of cross section. Let's take away the surfboard. This is what we're left with in our water surface cross section. And aside from the ugly bumps in it, you can see that we have a longer side and we have a shorter side. And if we know something about Bernoulli effect and water particles wanting to join together once they're separated, we will know that the water on this side, on the longer side, is going to be moving faster. And the water on this side is going to be moving slower, well, at normal speed. And what that does is it creates, on the longer side, it creates a low pressure. And on the shorter side, it creates a high pressure. So the effect of that would be that basically that would be trying to push our tail around and push us into a right hand starboard turn. So what I'm going to show you next is our next perspective where the board is probably leaned over a little bit more and maybe we have a little bit more trim to the stern. This is the stern over this side and probably sitting in the water a little bit more. I estimate that the water will be moving something over the rail according to vaguely something like that. So if we have a look at the cross section, what we see is again a profile showing a long side and a short side. Now the Bernoulli effect is often related to creating lift in airplanes, in sails, in keels. But what we're actually wanting to achieve in a surfboard to make it turn is some suction. So this might be something like a profile, what you would put on, say, a reverse wing if you were trying to create suction, say, on a spoiler or on a racing car to keep it on the ground. So again, fast side, low pressure, moving our board. 
across this way, moving our stern, stern to the left and moving our board to the right. Um, so next step, what we're looking at is the board's heeled over a little bit more and probably sitting a little bit deeper in the water as well. A bit more trim to the stern and we started to get a little bit of uh, emphasis into our turn starting to push on a little bit there we know we're into the turn good bit of speed on probably and if i take the board away what we can see is this is our profile to the surface of the water if i go into the top perspective you can see here what we're looking at Again, longer side, shorter side, Bernoulli effect, creating suction, moving the board around. But of course now, moving into the turn, we have some centrifugal force going. So the water's probably actually moving faster along the underneath side of the board, along the longer side, which is inducing even more suction. Now what we might be doing is probably moving into a even harder turn and progressing through the turn, boards healed over more, more stern trim, we've got something, quite a lot of stern trim probably, bottom turning quite hard, pushing through the turn. And now, if we look at our profile of the board sitting on the surface of the water, we can see that oops, we've got this kind of thing. Looking from our top perspective, uh -oh. here we go. Here's our profile. So, we want to think about the suction that's creating and the speed we're going. It's an interesting evaluation. And as I say, it's just a theory. There's a lot of flaws involved. There's a lot of um, perhaps perspectives that are not exactly so sort of taken into account, but I think from this demonstration, you can maybe see that the force is involved, the dynamics are involved. And I equate that to be how a surfboard turns, the Bernoulli effect and the profile of the board as it sits in the water. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out AdFleck. Dot com. We've got some, I've got some things going on there and have a bit of a think about it and see if you like it or not. Oh, well, if you like it or not, I don't really care. Maybe you got something better. Maybe you got a better explanation. Great. That's all, folks. Uh, no, that's not what I want. <laughs> Where are you? Stop screen recording.